Hi Cancers, welcome back to my channel. This is your daily love tarot reading guys Cancers. For your general energies, career situation and relationship guys. We are picking these cards Cancers. So these are for your general energies. This is for your relationship and this card is for your career situation guys Cancers. If you want more clarity in your circumstances, guys, you can watch the pick a card love reading that will follow this general guidance. So let's start with these cards here for your general energies. So we have Hierophant, Queen of Cups and Death in reverse. So in your circumstances today guys maybe in your work situation or in your relationship so you are really feeling confident today about something maybe you have um, confidence about your skills and talents and you are cheerful uh, thinking and planning for your future, your career future maybe. And you see yourself in a very uh, good place today. You have skills and talents and things are going as you have uh, expected. So you are happy for that. And you are someone really devoted to whatever you do. So whatever work you are in or even up towards this person you love. You are a very honest person guys. Cancers. And you have that dedication and devotion towards this love. And you want to do the things in the right way in your circumstances. And for some of you, you have a clear intuition. So what is the right thing. You may have that intuitive guidance in your heart of heart, something telling you. And you are someone who has a lot of experience and wisdom. That may be the reason you are able to handle any situation effectively, guys. So, though you may see some troubles in your work, there may be some problems in this relationship. But whatever it is, you are, uh, what to say, you have that understanding, a clear way of doing things. And in your relationship, guys, maybe today, you may feel some kind of a boredom, maybe, um, Things are just as it is. You have this person you love. Maybe you may feel that there is not something interesting happening in this relationship today. So maybe sometimes uh, these ordinary times are the right time for you both to build that strong foundation. Maybe guys. So... If you are together, if you are spending time with this person, this may be the time you need to build this relationship on trust and honesty. Try to understand each other and maybe you can make it interesting that way. And you may feel uh, for some of you stuck in some ways, guys, unable to decide whether to be with this person or not, if you are thinking of that. So let's see what is the card for your relationship. We have hangman. So there is something, uh, some kind of confusion in this relationship, maybe for some of you. You don't know which way to go. That, that was what we were talking about. Maybe you may feel that this, relationship may not be the uh, one you expected, may not be 
uh, that dream you had this person may not be your dream person but it is love and if it is a love that is worthwhile you need to uh, what to say decide for yourself guys honestly whether you want this person so that is what i see guys so for your career situation we have eight of cups so in your career uh, circumstances guys there are a lot of offers coming your way but you are interested in something else maybe you are uh, chasing a dream cancers that may be the energy even in your relationship maybe you have a person you love but you do not have that certainty or firmness in that love so something is giving you that wavering mind the same way in your career situation guys cancers so that is the reading for you all today guys cancers thank you for watching if you want more clarity stay tuned for the pick a card love reading that is coming up right now guys cancers for your love reading guys we have two cards here this is your first card and this is your second card so you can think about your circumstances close your eyes meditate for a few seconds then open your eyes and choose the card that comes to you first that way the reading may resonate guys so i will start the reading with the first card after a few seconds Okay guys so for those who chose this first card this card let's see what is the card we have the wise swans dedication so in your circumstances guys for your love or the concern you have on someone you are sacrificing a lot or you are doing everything possible in your capacity trying your best doing your best to help this person help them come out of some difficulty but you are someone who has a strong will power and determination you are doing it by yourself in silence you are facing all uh the obstacles or difficulties today all by yourself for the love you have for this person but they may not understand that they are not aware of it even for some of you and this may even look like a madness on your part maybe the people around you they may feel that you have a mad dedication something uh a very unexpected level of that single mindedness towards this task or towards this mission that you are doing everything sacrificing so much maybe you are in this uh, situation guys and maybe people feel really uh, hostility in their hearts towards you but whatever you face today guys whatever difficulties it may be there may be a lot of pain you are having there may be too much you are doing on your part but whatever it is you are going to heal and there is a great breakthrough coming in your circumstances so circumstances are not going to go in the same way forever there are great changes beautiful positive changes coming in your life very soon guys and pre- people will appreciate your um single minded dedication and your helpful kind nature and people will know the truth and they will truly appreciate you for whatever you have done for this person you love guys so that is the energy with this card for those who chose this card that is the reading guys 
So let's see what is the second card. For those who chose this card, it is mending. So with this card, the energy is that maybe in your situation, in your circumstances today, this may be the time for understanding and letting go of that unwanted burden in our life. So when we feel really hurt or sad or angered by some situation or by someone, we keep us keep ourselves chained to that uh, person or that situation, guys, instead of healing ourselves. So if we want to heal ourselves and move forward in our life, the way to do that is through mending our situation and forgiveness is the best way to do that so separate or together with your person you love maybe if you, even if you are in separation you both are experiencing the effects of hurt that is impacting everything you do so even you may not be aware of it but it affects uh, whatever you do and there is uh, some kind of a negative energy you are having in your heart today. So that needs to be cleared. So how to do that? So closing your heart may not be the answer today guys. So if you want to heal this wound, what you need to do? So you need to forgive this person who has hurt you and forget and move on. But if you feel that you are the one who has hurt them, you must uh, truthfully in your heart of hearts apologize to them. Maybe if you can do it directly, then it is well and good. Maybe if you cannot in your heart of hearts, you can honestly make redress, honestly uh, say the words that you are sorry for them. Sorry for what has happened and uh, that will bring a change in your heart guys, a positive change and only goodness will come out of forgiveness and that is what this card is about and that is the way you are going to set yourself from the chains that are holding you back today, holding you uh, in the sadness and pain. So, that is the energy with this card, guys, for those who chose this card. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this reading, please like and comment. I'll be happy to know your suggestions. I will see you tomorrow with another reading. Bye, guys.